river of life. Flow, flow. Ah, so welcome again, everyone, to a new year. My talk today is Begin Anew. And the monthly theme for the Centers for Spiritual Living this month is Root and Reboot. Root into our faith, our trust in a greater good, and reboot. Reboot, which means to restart or revive something. Just like we reboot our electronic devices. You know, have you ever called a geek? <laughs> and something's wrong with your device, and they usually say, turn it off, wait 10, 15 seconds, and turn it back on. It's a miracle. It works. It reboots. Well, Reverend Maggie and I and the practitioners, we're kind of spiritual geeks. And when you need some support, you might say something's not working. We say, stop, turn off, turn away from that, go within, take a breath, maybe more than 15 seconds, reconnect, and voila, a miracle, you're back on track. That's rebooting. That's what I think of rebooting is. Because as we know, our spiritual work, our personal spiritual work and study, leads us into that inner sanctuary of our being, that light-filled space that has never, never been separate from its good. Well, I have a proposition for us today. What if we recommitted to our spiritual path this new year, like starting today? What if we reminded ourselves every day that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience? That every day we reboot, we come back to center, come back to the divine. Because I believe that at our core, the power and the tools to live the life we desire and to create the world that we want to see for ourselves and everyone else is within us, at our core. Just imagine every moment if you walked in the confidence of spirit within you and knew without a doubt that all is well. Wow. If you knew that, remember the opening song, All That I Need Comes to Me. The light and love of grace shine upon my face. It's always shining, even when it's pouring rain. <laughs> that divine light is always within us. So what if we said yes to deepening our individual expression of the Spirit of God in our words and actions from this day forward. If not now, when? If not you, who? The world needs someone like you. You are unique. And each of us has been given our part to play in the symphony of life. Sometimes we're out of tune, but we know how to get back in tune. And we have to practice, practice, practice. We hear that all the time here. Because we practice until we play our part by heart. When we harmonize ourselves with the universal intelligence, source, spirit, God, we are in tune. We are in tune. So Ernest Holmes, our founder in the Science of Mind, has the textbook. And I've been reading this textbook, uh, not, well, I not only teach from it, but also Reverend um, Edward Villune has a wonderful assignment that he created quite a few years ago of reading the Science of Mind textbook in one year. Oh, now I know some of you who know this book. There's a lot of difficult passages and just understanding his lingo, but there's also some beautiful meditations in the back of the book, which I'm going to read one. But Reverend Edward has this Science of Mind textbook in one year. There's some copies over there. And what you do is you just take a day at a time, and he has different passages that you read. You check it off. And I've done this. This, is, this will be my sixth year that I've gone through the book. And I still learn things. 
it's a fascinating way to really understand the science of mind. So anyway, there's a little um, sheet about day by day, one year is over on the side table. I highly encourage that as a spiritual practice. So Ernest Holmes, in the back of the textbook, has meditations for self, self-help. And I just wanted to share this today because this is a great opening to what we're going to do in a moment through this process of letting go and bringing in. It's called the shining path. The pathway of life shines before me unto the perfect day. I walk the pathway of the soul to the gate of good. I enter into the fulfillment of my desires. Nothing need be added to and nothing can be taken from the all good which is forever expressing itself in me as me. Daily shall I receive its great blessings, and my soul shall rejoice forevermore. I am now entered into my good. (sighs) Take a breath with that. What a beautiful, simple reminder. And he invites us with these meditations to read it and then to sit in the atmosphere of the words. Because the words have a vibration, don't they? <sighs> so welcome to a new year. A new, a new year of possibilities and opportunities. Who do you want to become this year? What do you want to become? So January 1st is, is really an auspicious time to reflect and reinvent ourselves. And ritual and ceremony are very powerful ways, actions, that can open the door to a transformation. And today we're going to be doing a meditation, ritual, ceremony, reflection, to release the old and to welcome the new. Are you ready to take a conscious step, conscious step, to your best year yet? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 Yes! <laughs> Great. Welcome to flight 2023. You have boarded Kindness Airlines. We are prepared to take off into the new year. Please make sure that your goals and intentions are secure and locked in an upright position. All self-destructive habits and devices should be turned off at this time and put away. Should we lose altitude under pressure during our flight, reach up and pull down a prayer. Prayers will automatically be activated by faith. Once your faith is fully activated, you can assist other passengers. There will be no baggage on this flight. I repeat, there will be no baggage on this flight. Ah, the captain has cleared us for takeoff, destination, greatness, and more. Enjoy flight 2023. It's going to be a grand flight. I do that one every year. I just change the date. It's pretty cool. I found that somewhere. So we're going to do some writing now. And people at home, you're going to need two pieces of paper and a pencil or pen, something to write on. So everybody here should have a paper and an orange card. Let's make sure that's there. paper first, not the card, so you can set the orange card down. And I invite you to close your eyes, and let's just take a deep breath together. (sighs) Drop from your thinking mind into your feeling heart. Open. Receptive. Take another deep breath and relax into this holy, sacred moment of now. And I invite you to, just in your mind, in your imagination, look back on this past year of 2022. 
and reflect on all the blessings and accomplishments that you had experienced. All the gratitudes that you experienced this past year. Just bring them to mind. Even the simplest thing. And in that atmosphere of gratitude, you're going to answer three questions on your paper, on one side of your paper. The first question is, ask yourself, what is my favorite memory or experience from this past year? And just write it on your paper. What is my favorite memory or experience from this past year? And when it comes to mind, just jot it down. The second, ask yourself, one thing, what is one thing I am proud of having achieved or improved this past year? What did I improve or achieve or gain this past year? And write that down. Ask from your heart. The question was, what is one thing I am proud of having achieved or improved this past year? And number three. What did I learn about myself this past year? Take a breath of gratitude. There's a devotional exercise especially used in the Jesuit tradition called examen, examen, which involves reflection on and moral evaluation of one's thoughts and conduct. And it allows us to reflect and look over a year, a week, a day, and prayerfully notice how we were, who we were in that, in relating to things. And having specific questions can often help us open to a new awareness. So turn the paper over. And again, close your eyes and let's take another conscious breath in. Ah, and a nice exhalation, consciously breathing. Let's do a couple of slow exhalations here to allow us to drop again back into our heart. Inhale. And exhale. And now as we come to the end of a year, let's bring ourselves consciously and intentionally to a sense of completion with the past. Reverend Terry Cole Whitaker said long ago, let, let go quickly of what clearly isn't working. This is good advice, but it's not necessarily easy to do. Getting into the habit of letting go quickly requires a few steps. First, 
is the awareness and admitting to ourselves that something isn't working. Next is the willingness to let it go. And third is the actual release process. And you, and only you, have the authority to release anything from your life that does not empower you. So take a moment and lovingly reflect on any behavior, negative pattern you have, a way of being unforgiveness that no longer serves you and that you would like to release and truly let go. <coughs> And when it's clear for you, just write it down on the back side of the paper. Those things you're willing to say, enough, I'm complete. Could be something in your health, your finances, your relationship, your career. What do you want to be complete with? Write it down. Could be more than one thing. Again, take a breath. Ralph Waldo Emerson says, finish each day and be done with it. You have done what you could do. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt crept in. Forget them as soon as you can. Tomorrow is a new day. Begin it well and serenely and with too high a spirit to be encumbered with your old nonsense. <laughs> So we bless whatever was written of releasing now. And so now we have ceremony. I have a burning bowl here, a pseudo burning bowl. And in order to truly release, we're going to be active. So you've been writing, so writing also gets both hemispheres of the brain very powerful. Instead of just speaking something, writing is powerful, has power. And also an action does as well. So I'm going to invite you to take your white paper, the paper you have, whatever paper you have at home, and you literally are going to come up to the burning bowl and just tear it up and release it into the bowl. Imagine that it's releasing in flames. And as you do that, you consciously just bless it. Bless this past year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the good, all this, all that, whatever it was. Be complete. So whenever you're ready, just go on up and tear it up. Shake it off. <laughs> Take 
a breath, everybody. Shake off your hands. Ah, let it go, let it go, let it go. And go like this, it's complete. <clears throat> Now we get to invite and welcome the new. So you're going to take a conscious step to your best year yet. So you have an orange card now. And let's again go within for a moment. Mm. And feel the emptiness. Feel that release. It's a powerful, powerful action in the subconscious. You just planted a seed of letting go. So make peace with yourself and open to the potential of something new in your life, something greater. Honoring yourself for stepping forward right now into this new time. Now, right now, is a, is a pivotal moment, a pivotal choice point for you. So what do you choose? What do you choose? Take a breath with that. Who do you want to become this year? Just ask yourself, ask your heart, who do I want to become? What do I want to become? What do you want to invite in in the area of health, finances, relationships, career? What would you love? Envision it. Use your imagination. The imagination is a great pearl for us. What would it feel like to be, do, or have what it is you desire? And remember, you don't have to know how to make it happen. You just make it welcome. You open to receive. What would you love? Who do you want to become? So on one side of your orange card, or at home on one side of a piece of paper, right on the very top of the card, 2023, and the next line is, I am so happy and grateful now that 2023. I am so happy and grateful now that. And claim what it is you have now. I'm so happy and grateful I'm healthy. I have an awesome new job that I can travel. That I'm more aware. Write down a few things. What are you calling in? Three or four sentences. And then finish that up. And remember today, you can, you can do this process and even go deeper and take more time with it. So we're just planting a seed today. So on the back of that card, I want you to capsulize, capsulize, capsulate, capsulate, capsulize into one word that captures all of those things you just said on the other side. So it's your power word for 2023, your, your feeling word, your divine quality. What do all those new things that you're attracting feel like to you? What elevated emotion do you want to claim? 
What divine quality is it? One word. And just take a moment and see if you can pop that word into your awareness. And when you do, you write it big letters on the back of your card. That one word. It encapsulates it all. It should feel good. I always enjoy taking that word that I've come up with and finding a river rock and writing it on a river rock and then I keep that rock by my desk so it's very grounding and I look at that word throughout the year. Oh yeah, that's right. That's my, that's my power word. Then once you have your word, you're going to make squiggly line around it. Big, just squiggly line around the word or a couple squiggly lines. Just around the word. And your word, you're planting a seed into the electromagnetic field of the universe. This is true. This is your power. So does everybody have their seed? <laughs> Great. So place it over your heart. Breathe it in. And you're going to say with me out loud your own, whoops, I am your word, I am your word, I am your word. Three times. We're going to do it all together out loud. Here we go. One, two, three. I am valor. I am Lloyd's giving me the thumbs up. All right, let's do that again and convince me. One, two, three. I am thrilled. I am thrilled. I am thrilled. Take a breath. You should be smiling. <laughs> if you knew you as God knows you, you would be smiling now. That's one of my favorite Neil Donald Walsh sayings. Last time, even bigger, louder, come on. One, two, three. I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. Now take your card and you go, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Woo, excellent, excellent, excellent. Welcome to Flight 2023. You are amazing. And just because you are, that's my favorite song.